Hi there, we're going to have a look at some circles again. And uh, But first of all, before we start that, we're going to just try a, a really useful skill which is um, going to be needed today. And so you will need your calculator, definitely, and you need to practice using the Pi button on it. Now, if you've got one of these, these are the sort of ones we sell at school. It's the new Casio one, which is really, really good. Yeah, the Pi button is at the bottom. The, the slightly older version that they used to sell is really similar as well. Now, you can't really see it there, so I've... Um, enlarged it a little bit but look there's a little hidden pi button just above the times 10 to the x now what that means is you need to press shift to get that one the shift button is that one there and if you press that and then press this button you will get pi on your calculator now if your but if your calculator does not do pi then you could always use you know 3.14 as an estimation but you really need to get yourselves one of these if you haven't. Um, there are also all sorts of online calculators that you could use today. If you need it, just type in Desmos. So um, let's just write that up there. If you need it, Desmos is a great website that's got a scientific calculator on there that you could use as well. Anyway, what I want you to do, I want you to pause the video. I want you to just work out these calculations. You know, what's three times pi, what's eight times pi, and so on, or pi times pi, and put them, answer them to three decimal places, and then unpause the video when you're done and see if you've got them right. Off you go. Okay, we've unpaused. Now, the first thing you might have struggled with, possibly, is the SD button. Now, if you've got this calculator and you type in 3 times pi, what it puts on your calculator is 3 pi, which is really useful at times, but not for what we want, because we want it decimal places. So, if you can see that there, you need to press, I'm just trying to highlight it in blue on the back background, but that SD button that I'm just hovering around here, SD changes it into decimals. And if you press that, for example, you would get here 9.42, and to three decimal places, it's five, right? 9.425. And then if you're doing eight times pi, press SD, and you get 25.133 to three decimal places, because I did say that, look, there we go. And then 10 times by pi, you get 10 pi, press SD, and you get 31.416 to three decimal places. And then 12 times by the pi, <laughs> the pi, by pi, is 37.699 to three decimal places. And lastly, pi times by itself, so this is pi squared, um, is 9.5. 8 and it's 7 0 because the next number this would have been a 9 and if, if you look at your display you'll see what I mean but it rounds up to 8 7 0 because you need to round up the last one and it turns into that okay well anyway good practice for using pi let's move on now what we're going to do today is the circumference of a circle now the circumference of a circle is the distance around the outside. The circumference is the outside and we want to know how long it is to go from all the way around. You know, it's a bit like wrapping, wrapping a bit of ribbon around the Pringles tube. How much ribbon do I need? And we spoke last time about the diameter, which is all the way across. This is our diameter. And I can wrap that around the outside of my circle just over three times. And we actually, we, we gave a number to the amount of times that you can fit it, because it's just over three, and it's this, 3.1415, etc. And do you remember, we called it pi. It's actually just our main man-made number. Because it's got an infinite amount of decimal places, and it's such a useful number, that we give it this letter to represent how many times the diameter will go around the outside. Now, this is really useful, because actually, if I want to know the distance around the outside, all I need to do is measure the distance across the middle and then times it by 3.14 because I know that's how many times it fits around the outside. So if I do the diameter times by pi, I get the circumference. Okay, so circumference is just pi times diameter. And I've got a really good song about that, which I'm not going to sing now because I haven't got time, but I'll do it another time. Uh, circumference is pi times diameter. So that's where this little formula comes from. Now the thing is, you've got to make sure that the measurement you've got 
is the diameter. If you have, then it's that straightforward. If you haven't, then it's not. So I always do have a bit of a habit of writing this. If I'm doing a circle question, I put R equals, I put D equals, and I want to write down what the radius and diameter is. Even if I don't need the radius, I just like writing it down. So I've got both and I can choose which one I want. Now look at this. Is this a radius or a diameter? Well, it's a diameter. So the diameter in this case is 12 centimeters. Remember the radius goes from the center to the outside. So it's going to be half of that, which is six. Right, now circumference is pi times diameter. It says so. So I need to do pi times by 12. After all that. Oh, we did this calculation a minute ago, didn't we? And pi times by 12 is, and I'm going to round it to one decimal place, right? I reckon we'll do the rest of today to one decimal place, 37.7 centimetres, and that was rounded to one dp. Yep, so that's it, just pi times diameter. Right, let's try another couple. Oh, because that, oh, I had a little animation to show you the, all the way around. So the distance all the way around the, the circle is 37.7 centimetres to one decimal place. How about this one? Well, first of all, let's write down R equals D equals. Have I got a radius or a diameter here? Well, this is a diameter, it goes all the way across, which means my radius will be half of that because the radius only goes half the way across, from the center to the outside. And so circumference is pi times diameter, so it's pi times eight. In this case, I just put it in your calculator. You can't work it out yourself. Just put it in a calculator. 8 times pi is 20 to one decimal place again, 25.1 centimeters. Yep, easy, huh? Here's another one, another circle. Let's put r equals, let's put d equals. Right, is this a radius or a diameter? Well, this is a radius, so I'm going to write it there. What about my diameter though? How much would the diameter be all the way across? Well, that's going to be double the radius. It's going to be four centimeters. So the circumference will be pi times by four, not times by two. Common mistake just to multiply pi by whatever number they give you. But they're sneaky people, question people. They will do it to catch you out. Right, to one decimal place, 12.6 centimeters. Okay? Easy, huh? Right, now my tip is to write down radius equals diameter equals, work it out, you know, but then decide which one you need, times it by pi. Right, I want you to round these, ah, oh, yeah, let's change it up a little bit. Let's do two decimal places, why not? Okay, so press pause on the video, do all four of those please, and then unpause when you're done. Okay, we've unpaused, let's do this. Right, R equals D equals. Well, this is a radius, so the radius is 3. The diameter is all the way across, so it will be 6. So circumference is pi times diameter, so it's pi times by 6. I'm going to get my calculator out. 6 times by pi to two decimal places will be 18.85, because it needs to round up centimeters. Yep, that's the distance around the outside. B. Oops, F. I don't want F. What's F come from? R equals and D equals. This is a diameter because it goes all the way across. So in that case, what would the radius be? It would be half of that, which is 3.5 centimeters. Now, I need diameter, so it's pi times by 7. Right, 7 pi is to two decimal places, 21.99. So that's what it rounds to centimeters. Yep. Next one, R equals D equals. Well, this is a radius because it only goes from the center to the outside. It's only half the way across. So that's my radius, which means my diameter must be double that. So it's 13 centimeters. Now circumference equals pi times by my diameter of 13. So pi times by 13 equals to two decimal places at 40.84 centimeters is the distance around this circle, the circumference. And last one, r equals d equals, this is a diameter, 
So the radius will be half of that, so only from the centre to the outside. So that will be 2.5 centimetres. And it's pi times diameter to work out the outside, so it's pi times by 5. Which is... why have I put pi equals 5? I seem to have lost the ability to write. Pi times by 5. Pi times diameter. Because, as we know, circumference is pi times diameter, pi times diameter, pi times diameter, circumference is pi times diameter, and area is for a future episode, so I'm not going to spoil what that is. Right, 15.71 centimetres to two decimal places. Yep, got the idea? Great, you're doing brilliantly. In which case, three more for you to do. Two decimal places, pause the video, Whack through those, round them to two decimal places, unpause when you're done. Go. We've unpaused because you've already finished, because you're doing really well. R equals D equals. Right, what have I got? I've got a diameter, so that's three. My radius will be half of that, because it only goes half the way across. 1.5. Circumference then is pi times diameter, so pi times three. Which is, he says, getting his trusty calculator out. 9.42 to two decimal places. Give myself a little tick. Right, R equals D equals. Right, this is a radius. It only goes half the way across, which means my diameter must be double that. Right, circumference, distance around the outside, is pi times by diameter. So it's pi times by 2 which is 6.28 to two decimal places. Give myself a little tick. Uh, R equals D equals. Now this is a diameter, so my diameter is 4.5. My radius will be half that, so it's 2.25 centimeters. But I want the circumference, which is pi times by diameter. So pi times by 4.5. Press SD to get my decimal, which is 14.14 to two decimal places. Another little tick, and I might even do a little smiley face. Um, yeah, great stuff. Okay, right, that's really... Is that too straightforward? Let's have a little look at the clock and stopwatch. Yeah, it's a bit straightforward, isn't it? So I think we can try something a little bit harder. Now this says calculate the perimeter of each shape. I wonder why it might say perimeter and not circumference this time. It's because of this. Because these shapes are slightly different. Um, it's, you know, we don't have the whole circle. The whole distance around the outside is circumference. Sorry, I got slightly distracted there by a big fat pigeon sat on my roof. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's Circumference is all the way around a circle. We don't have all the way around a circle, do we? We only have parts of a circle. I'm just going to put a little right angle in there. Uh, I'm just going to put a little right angle in there as well because that might mean something in a minute. I want you to just to pause the video and just have a little think about how we might adapt what we've done to work out the perimeter of these shapes, so the outside edge of these shapes. So pause the video, unpause when you've got an idea. Okay, here we go. Now it's called a perimeter because obviously I don't have the full circle, I only have parts. Now Let's think about it. We're going to find this perimeter in two bits. Now I'm going to try... Oh, have I got a highlighter in there? I think I might have a highlighter. Do I have a highlighter? There we do. Right, so let's see if this works. So I am going to have two parts to my perimeter. One bit is that, is my curved bit, and the other bit is going to be the straight edge. Now I need both of those to be able to work out the total perimeter. Now, but look, how much of a circle is my curved edge? It's half. So if I work out the whole circumference, but then halve it, I will have the bit I need. Yeah? So let me show you what I mean. We call the curved bit an R. Oh, dear me, what's going on there? What has happened there? Oh, I see. I get the idea. Now you can change the color on the highlighter. That's very exciting. I didn't know you could do that. Let's go back to the pen though. Right, this curved part is called an arc. It's a bit like, you know, a bit of a rainbow maybe. It's just a, just an arc. Now the arc 
is going to be just like a normal circle, so pi times by diameter. Now, what have I got here? Have I got a radius or diameter? I've got a diameter. My radius would be half of that, which is 3. So pi times by my diameter, but then halve it. Yeah? Because I don't want all of the circle. I only want, in this case, half a circle. So I do pi times by diameter, and then divide it by 2. And I'm going to keep it to a few decimal places for now. I'm going to do 9.4. Two. In fact, I'm going to leave it at two decimal places because it wants me to. For 9.42 centimeters for the arc. But then perimeter, I'm going to use P for perimeter, is the a mixture of the arc. But I need to add in the flat bit. I need to add in this edge as well, or I haven't got the whole perimeter. Yeah. So I need to add six onto that. So it's 15.42 centimeters you get the idea so we're after a like a proportion of the circle in this case half the circle well how much of the circle have i got here how much of that arc well i have got a quarter haven't i so let's imagine that i want to work out the whole perimeter the whole circumference let's just have a look at that so r equals d equals so i've got a radius here because that, that's the center of my circle so this edge here is a radius Center to the outside. If the whole circle was there, that would only go half the way across. Now my diameter is going to be four, isn't it? If you imagine the whole circle, I'd have to have four centimeters to go from one side to the other. Now my arc then is just like the whole circle, the whole circumference, pi times diameter, yeah? How much of my circle have I got though? I've only got a quarter of it, so I'm going to divide it by four. So I'm going to do pi times by diameter, so pi times 4, and then I'm going to divide it by 4, and my arc has a length of 3.14 centimetres, which means my perimeter will be a mixture of the arc, but also the two flat bits. So that's the arc. The arc is 3.14 centimetres, but to get the full perimeter, I also need that edge, and I need that edge. So I need to add two and another two. And when I add those together, I get 7.14 centimeters. And that is my perimeter. It's the arc and the two flat bits. All right, I know this can be a little bit tricky, but let's try and get our heads around it. So again, I've got the perimeter of this shape. That's gonna be made up of the arc. I'm not even gonna try and trace that on this, this tablet. And then the two flat bits. Right, let's write down R equals D equals. What have I got here? Radius or a diameter? And this is a bit easier to see this time. That's clearly a radius. Center to the outside is six centimeters. That means my diameter, which goes all the way across, will be double that, which is 12. So my arc, well, how much of my circle have I got? I've got three quarters of it, haven't I? So I've got to do three quarters of, of in maths times, pi times diameter. So pi times by 12. So three quarters times pi times 12. I'm going to do that in my calculator. 3 quarters times by pi times by the diameter of 12 is 28.27 centimeters. So that's my arc, but my perimeter will be the arc plus the two flat bits. That would be that 6 centimeters and that 6 centimeters. Otherwise, you know, it's it's an empty shape, isn't it? I've just looked, notice how much it looks like Pac-Man. So plus two lots of six is 40.27 centimeters. So what you need to do on these ones is work out the arc. So think of the whole circle and then just find what proportion you want. You know, is it half of it like this one? Is it a quarter of it like this one? Or is it in this case, three quarters of your circumference? And then don't forget to add your flat bits as well. All right. Tricky, I know. But some of you will be going, oh, come on, I can do this. I want everyone to have a go and then just see if it matches my answers. So you need to pause the video. Have a go at finding the perimeter. Oh, it says circumference. It doesn't mean circumference. It means perimeter. Let's just put that in. Of each shape. <laughs> that's, that's some good, good... Um, 
video work going on there. Uh, so calculate the perimeter of each shape to two decimal places. Pause the video, off you go. Here we go then, we've unpaused. First thing on each one is, of course, do we have a radius or a diameter? This is a diameter because it goes all the way across. The radius would only be half of that, which is five. So, you know, center to the outside. Right, let's work out the arc then. Now I've got half a circle, so I need to do pi times diameter, so pi times 10, but then halve it to get the arc, which is 15.71 centimeters. That's my arc, but I want the perimeter, which is the whole of the outside. So that's a mixture of the arc plus the flat bit. It's like the lid in this case, isn't it? Otherwise, I've just got this arc. I need to close the arc with the lid, which is 25.71 centimeters to two decimal places. Yep. This time, do I have a radius or a diameter? Let's have a look. Well, that would be the center of my circle if the whole circle was there. So this must be a radius. And the diameter is double that, so it's 12. How much of my circle have I got? How much of the curved outside bit? I've got a quarter. So I need to do pi times diameter and then find a quarter of that. So divide it by four. So pi times my diameter divided by four is 9.5. 4.2, so that's my arc, that's the curved bit, but my perimeter is a mixture of the curved bit and the flat bits. Now that's two, two lots of six, isn't it? Six there, and then six down there. So add six and add another six, which is 21.42 centimeters. And last one, oh, tick that. Last one, do I have a radius or a diameter? I have a radius, don't I? Look, there's clearly the center to the outside. Five centimeters, diameter is 10. Great, so let's work out the arc. How much of my circle do I have? Well, look, I've got three quarters of my circumference there of the whole circle. Of means times, so three quarters times by the circumference, and the circumference is pi times diameter, so pi times 10. Let's put that in here. Put it, well, when I say here, I mean my calculator, but you can't see that because, you know, you're not here. Well, unless you are and you're hiding, which would be weird. 23.53 to two decimal places. But we want the perimeter, not just the arc. So I need the two flat bits. I need five and another five. Because remember, all the radiuses will be the same which is 10, isn't it? So I need to add 10 on. Oh, hang on. There. Mr. Nice, show you're working out. So 23.56 plus one flat edge plus the other flat edge, which is 33. I'm really struggling with threes today. Sorry, 33.56 centimeters is the perimeter. And if you've got all three of those, then you have done awesomely. If you've got one, you've done great. Um, and if you haven't, then maybe you might want to just watch it again. But as long as you can work out the circumference with pi times diameter, then that's fabulous. Right. I shall see you next time for some uh, area of a circle stuff, which would be great fun. Okay, cool. Right. See you next time.